Hey everybody, um, just a quick video because I had, you know, those memories on Facebook pop up and this post was from 2016, so a while ago, um, and it was during an incredibly dark time in my life. Um, my ex-husband had stolen Alan um, against my wishes to go to another state. Um, cause they, we thought we were, I was getting out of the Navy and so he wanted to establish in another state. Um, but last minute I said, I don't want you to take Alan, but he took him anyway. Um, I was alone and then I lost my uncle to cancer. And then my ex-husband tried to convince me to commit suicide with the help of his family. I'm not kidding. Like they literally laughed on the phone and said I was just trying to cause drama. And I actually heard them hurting my little boy. So it was a very dark time for me. I fought very hard with my command to try to get the funds to fly them home and did everything in my power to convince my ex-husband to bring my little boy back because I didn't want him in the clutches of my my ex-in-laws, you know, like I say ex now because it's their ex now, but at the time, just my in-laws. Um, but it was a very, very dark time. And I actually had suicide ideation. I, I actually was thinking about it. That's, that's how far gone, um, it was with my ex-husband, like his efforts to get me to kill myself. Like, I've talked in my other videos about how bad he was being a narcissist, being uh, like him being abusive, him gaslighting, him manipulating. Like he literally tried to make me feel like I was insane. And there's so many bad things they did. I'm not going to go over all of them, but this, this is just to tell you, this was my mindset when I wrote this, when I was trying to build hope for myself. And I mean, like I just lost someone that I loved to cancer. I didn't have my little boy. I was literally being convinced by someone who I thought I loved, who I thought loved me. So everything now is tainted from him because I don't know what was real and what wasn't. Um, and his family was trying to egg me on too towards suicide. And that's not okay. Um, and they tried to be like, they tried to cite religious reasons for it. It's really dumb. Um, so like my head was not in the right space. Um, but I found this picture online of white birch trees with like, like white trees with like the darking spots, like the bark, um, which I love because it reminds me of like snowy owls and, um, and like falcons and stuff like the, the patterns. Um, anyway, so there's like this, this forest of white birch trees and, and it's like winter time, there's snow on the ground. <laughs> And I wrote with that post, even in the dead of winter, I still live. I still breathe. I will weather all seasons. I will stand tall, though the ages would otherwise attempt to bend me to their will. My path is always clear, always resolute, for I stand sentry to those who pass me by, and I will love with them, hate with them, cry with them, and laugh with them. I will be eternal and everlasting in this stead. And it was my attempt to, to build myself up, to be like, it's okay, I can weather this, I can stand the test of time, I can get through this. And I wrote something in my journal recently, uh, because I still journal, I still try to, to do that. But I thought of this too. It said, the mom this moment in time is not the summation of my soul, it is but a parcel of time a leap between growths and realization. My soul will grow as I age and come what may, that steadfast part of me is the whispers of. Whatever death of spirit I endure at any given time, I'll render the flames of defeat inert. The pain of judgment, sorrow, and fear will not stop this motion forward. And I repeat what I said before. Even in the dead of winter, I still live, I still breathe. And thinking back on how hard it was back then to lift myself up from that. I just, I just lost someone I love very dearly. And 
I don't know what she was thinking in that moment, but she was in a lot of pain, both emotionally, mentally, and well, both emotionally and mentally, but also physically. And I don't know what exactly happened, but I guess in a way I just want to say that, you know, even in your darkest hour, you can still fight. But if you feel that you can't, please reach out. It means the world if you can, because I think anyone who is willing to, whis to listen if they care about you rather than attend a funeral, you know. So I, I'm sorry I'm crying, but it's just I felt this was very important. Uh, sorry, I, I know I'm a little emotional, but anyway, I just I want to share that. So thanks.